Hello, all there, listeners. This is uh, Uncle Yab, and you're gabbing with Yab. You guys, it's been a while that I've been out doing my podcast, so just bear, bear with me again. I've been working and stuff like that, so I'm giving you another episode, and this episode is, is what I call side gigs. And once again, I'm going to let you guys know, if you guys want to support me, you can go to www dot buzzsprout dot com that's b u z z s p r o u t dot com forward slash two seven two two nine four if you want to support Uncle Yab you can do it and I'll be much obliged now like I said today's uh, topic is side gigs and um I was you know I've been thinking and I've been seeing a lot of people have just been doing different side things as far as their usual jobs. They call them side hustles, side gigs. In other words, like a second job, anything you can do to make extra money. And these the, the millennials nowadays are making these side gigs like a major money market. So they're doing a lot of things. And they call this they call this nation well, the millennials call it the side hustle hustle nation. And they're doing everything on the side and trying to make this extra cash, and a lot of times these millennials or anybody that's doing it can make at least at least five hundred extra dollars a week with your side gig. Now, a side gig can entail of different things. The most common side gig that we always know about is the you know driving Uber and driving for Lyft and stuff like that. But a lot of other things you can do too. And basically, I'm gonna give you a few things like a few percentages in a survey. Um, a new survey from our uh, bank rate and bank rate is like a, it's an app or it's like a website and it reveals that we are seriously a country of hustlers with 44 million American adults claiming they have a side gig, AKA it is an extra way of making cash and a source of income. The age group most likely to grow their green and which, which is a side hustle is the millennials. Now the millennials uh, define everything. They define the stereotypes as being lazy and entitled, and they are actually a generation of go-getters. If you believe that, then you know you can look it up too, because you can go right to that bankrate.com, and I always try to give you guys, if I'm giving you guys information, I'm going to give you guys uh, a place where you can go check it out and make sure that I'm right, and you can, you can check me on different things. And um, the bank rate survey was found that younger millennials, ages 18 to 26, the age group must likely have a side hustle, with 28% saying they have an extra way to make money aside of their main source of income. And they're not using their side gigs to make a make a quick buck. You know, they're they making it, they just doing it for a living. And if they need to do something like go on a trip or go... Uh, go on a vacation they'll use a little side job and get the money that they need and uh, at least and it says uh, 90%, 96% of them say they do it at least monthly 25% of younger millennials make more than 500 a month the income for side gigs isn't just limited to some loose change from a lemonade stand so and so forth these millennials are raking in serious cash from these side hustles the survey found that millennials make a median of 200 a month from their side jobs, and 25% of the younger millennials make more than 500 a month for their side jobs. You know, and uh, you can make some serious cash with these side hustles. I know for a fact, I'm not doing a podcast for a side hustle, but this is something that I like to do. But I definitely, hopefully, I can you know, get some donations in the near future because I'm, you know, to doing my time and doing what I'm supposed to do and I like it. But I would love to get some donations because I love to talk to you guys. I'm always bringing you guys good information and you definitely can pin on me to give you what you need going on out here in the world and things that I've been involved with. Now, I've had different side gigs like uh, cutting grass and things like that. When I was when I was younger, and I'm definitely not a millennial, I'm letting you guys know I'm not a millennial, but when I was younger, I used to serve papers, deliver papers for the Washington Post in D.C. And um, that was, I wouldn't say that was a side gig, that was like a 
um, part-time job for me because I was in school during that time. But it definitely helped me out in paying the bills and, and getting clothes for my for myself in school and stuff like that. Because a lot of times, your mom and dad wouldn't give you what you needed. So you need to go ahead and make your own way. And believe me, the way I was born and raised, my dad wasn't giving me nothing. So he made sure that I went out there and got what I needed. Okay, let's get back to this hot this side hustle thing. You know, it's not it's not something that's a fly by night thing. It's not like it's a Tupperware party. It's not like you know Mary Kay. A lot of people are really looking through this as something they could do. Okay, and um, another another instance, we have a 24 year old living in Los Angeles. She said that she started a side hustle to save money and paid off her debt while her primary source of income comes from her role as a business client at a, at, a, at a solution executive. And she also works on the side as an executive consult for a skincare company. So she has a lot going on. And even a person like that, you would think that she's making a significant amount of money or um, or a good, a good uh, source of income per year. She still has a side gig. And, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Side gigs are just something that you can do after work, making your little change, and helping your bank account, especially your, your checking account, well, especially your savings account. Because a lot of times we all, a lot of us don't know how to save or don't save correctly. But if you got this side gig, you can just throw that money in your, your, your savings account and not really think about it. And when you look up or you, when you look back on it, you're like, wow, I have a, a couple hundred thousand dollars or a couple thousand dollars. And that's also good because it's nothing like savings. And if you want to save, save. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, what I'm going to do is give you guys now the most lucrative side hustles. Okay, so let me get everything with that. Let me get started with it. So it says um, 35% of people have some sort of side hustle. Okay, real estate is the most popular side hustle, making up to 11% of all secondary jobs. Real estate is the most lucrative side hustle, and they're paying like $90 an hour. Farming is $9 an hour, and that's the least. Farming is the least, and uh, real estate is the most. The average side hustle earns $12,609 on 11 hours per week, so that totals up to $25 per hour. The vast majority of side hustles are self-funded. The average first year cost of launching a side hustle is $16,662. You know, now when you're doing, you know, who, when you're doing a survey on this type of thing, it's based on 3,000 responses for a survey sent out to the hustle email list in between October the 3rd through the 8th of 2018. And they got responses back. The respondents slightly mailed from 56% to 44% and were primarily based in the U.S. compared to 33% internationally. So that's a big deal because I'm in the U.S. We all, I'm hopefully, and I could be, I'll be reach. I, have, I think I have uh, listeners abroad and you may want to understand this too, that you guys have side hustle opportunities abroad as well. Whether that may be in uh, Africa, it could be in you know the UK, it could be in South Africa, things like that. It can be in Australia, it can be in it can be in Asia. But you can always find a way to make extra money. So it, it says who's making the money on the side. You know, it says on the average, we found that thirty five percent of respondents have some kind of side hustle. This figure varies widely based on a number of demographic factors. So, you have a, as far as the gender is concerned, I'm giving you a quick overview. Gender, 50% of males have side hustles versus 44% female. And like I said, location, 77% U.S. based, 33% is international. The average age is 0 to 34 and your average age, your average salary is zero to 91,000. Your average pay per hour is zero 
to $41 an hour, and your average work week is 0 to 43 hours. And that's where you make your hustle. That's where you make your hustle. And you have another, I have another website for you guys, and it says this is the, uh, this is the, not to find a way to double the national average, you can go to www.thebalancecareers.com, and it's an average salary information for U.S. workers, and you can enter tell you and work 43 hours per week on the primary job, and it's just giving you a, a um, a gross figure on what you can do as far as how much income you can make. And I have definitely a lot of information. Definitely a lot of information. You know, it has, um, if you have a side hustle, you know, most people, education, 30, 37% of people have a, a, a high school diploma, 39% have an associate's degree, 34% have the bachelor degree. 37% have the master degree. And for people they have post doctorates, doctorates is 36%. And once again, they have ages 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, which is 39%. Ages 45 to 54 is 31%. Ages 55 to 64 is 31%. And 65 and over is 22%. Okay, and it says men are 4% more likely than average to have a side hustle, while women are 4% less likely to have one. And, I, and it's a lot of good information. You know, entrepreneurship is a type of side hustle, and it's, and it's pretty lucrative, too. And... um you know, when you when you want to do something like that, you have to find out how you want to do it, and you get it done. You have a definitely you have a creative professions, okay, and the creative professions you have professions least likely to have a side hustle. Now, listen up to this, you guys. For if you have any type of professions, what they're saying is you are least likely to get a second source of income. And it's an average of 35%. Legal services, 10%. Electrical engineering, 12%. Human resources, 14%. Oil and energy, 14%. Hospitality, 19%. Telecommunications, 21%. Banking, 21%. Aviation and aerospace, 22%. Defense and space, 25%. And then you have your pharmaceutical guys at 26%. And like I said, professions like these are the least likely to have a side hustle. And if you have those, if you have those uh, incomes or if you have those uh, professions, then you may be doing good. You know, and um, it has some other, some other stuff here. 30 industries make up 75% of all side hustles. But a, clear, but a clear singular winner comes out on top. And your most common side hustles. Let me give you guys that. Like I said, it was real estate, 11%. Retail, 5 Your health and wellness and fitness is 4%. Marketing and advertising, 4%. Now, just to let you guys know, this is the FYI. A lot of these things, like a real estate, you can get in, you can, you know, find a correspondent class or you can... You know, join your local um, college or university, and it may not be a lot of money. And you, and also, you sometimes your city or state can be offering different classes on real estate and retail for not much, for a small amount of money. You can get your license based on uh, time served in your classroom and your hours that you can get. Okay, you can be like a sports person, and that's three percent. That's the most of of the uh, side hustles there. Consumer goods, food and beverages, photography, 3%, consumer services, 3%, and arts and crafts, 2%. Yeah, just so much stuff that a uh, person can do out here. Now it says, how much do people make from side hustles? And like I told you guys before, the hours work 
if you're working a weekly hour, 11 hours a week, you can make a yearly of $572. Your annual earnings is 12609 at an hourly rate of 25 You know, so you have some some uh, side hustles reported an impressive annual earnings of 100000 from your side jobs, but they only work 20 or 30 extra hours per week to get there. Other hustlers made... 50000 on the side working five hours a week. So it's up to you. It's up to you. You can go with the most lucrative or you can go with the least lucrative. Now, the most lucrative, listen to this, guys, the most lucrative side hustles on an average yearly salary of 12609 averaging 11 hours per week, and that will, that will boil down to $25 an hour. Six hours real estate, twenty nine thousand, and that'll be ninety dollars an hour. Management consulting, four hours a week, at seventeen thousand a year, eighty six dollars an hour. Investment management, nine hours a week, thirty four thousand a year, at seventy five dollars an hour. Investment banking, eight hours, twenty eight thousand, seventy dollars an hour. Hospitality. Working seven hours, or sixteen thousand. Accounting, professional coaching. I have some of my friends that they do professional coaching and they do they do they do referee, and that's another good side gig and it's pretty lucrative too. And they make uh they basically make money per game. So you may can have two or three games during the weekend and you can do pretty good that way. Also, you can work at a restaurant. You can do an automotive, have an automotive trade, or or be some type of um, mechanic. And that's a lot of good money, a lot of good money on the side. And once again, like I said, you guys, real estate comes out on top. The average respondent made $29,000 a year from property on just six hours per week. Good for $90 an hour. So, you know, be, be mindful of that type of stuff. Now, the most, luke, the least lucrative side hustles. Farming, arts and crafts, cosmetics, music, design, writing and editing, photography, entertainment, and event services. Okay, farming side hustlers work an average of 14 hours per week and made away with just under 6.8 thousand or nine dollars an hour. Now, this is not really surprising given that all farmers don't make money from farming, so they do other things as well. So, it's a lot of stuff you got to do. Now, you got to figure out how, how are the side hustles funded. A lot of times, they, they're funded on off of personal savings, no cost, loans, friends and family. You have what you call crowdfunding and uh, angel investors. So, it says about 19% report staking out some style of money through a traditional bank loan or family and friends. Only 1% seek out side hustle funding from some other source. Okay. So right here is a lot of information that I want to give you guys. You know. And um, it's definitely helpful. It's definitely helpful. And I'm glad I was able to get back to you guys and talk to you. It's been a while. But I'm going to try to keep going with this. And I'm going to try to do it once a week. One episode a week. I still got my same podcast, Gab with Gab, and that's what I like to do. And um, I'm gonna keep it going. And try to do once one episode a week. This is episode six for me, so I'm doing good, you guys. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to do the best I can. But like I said, I like it. And once again, I got something to say. So this is Uncle Gab, and you've been Gabbing with Gab. Have a good day. <laughs>